Hey, you know, what's this is getting kind of crazy, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, there's already been two adult film stars that have died this year. Am I wrong? Well, let me make sure. But let me let me before I do that, let me do this. Adult. There was two because uh, Sophia Leone died fourth end fourth industry death in three months. Are you serious? Took her own life overdose at 43. Okay. Okay. So look, I, I, this is, this is the point I was getting to, right? Bro, there's something that's going on in the industry that we're not privy to because look, we obviously can't go into their, into their stuff and just go and look at their history on YouTube. Obviously we can't do that, but there's a bit of a stinker going on in the industry, right? To put it lightly, where apparently that whatever it is that people are going through is so heinous. And so it's so um, demoralizing and it has such a heavy impact on their mental health that they're taking their own lives. Right. And there, I remember back in the day, there was a period of time when there was this thing called like girls do uh, pee or teens do pee, something like that, where basically they were doing the whole casting couch thing in a hotel. There were some dudes that had gotten sued for that. One of the dudes went off and like he does his own thing now, I think, but I don't know what's up with the other guy. Anyway, there were uh, allegations that some of those girls were underage. There are allegations, and this is why I don't recommend, right? This is why. Like nowadays, right, uh, when you're watching these videos and stuff, there's a lot of like crazy stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Not saying that it always that wasn't always the case, but um, I, I feel as though there's just been so much of this um, craziness that's been publicized to this point and to the point that I, I don't even feel right watching any of these, the, you know, watching the hub no more. It just don't hit the same. It just don't hit the same. Like, look, every time you go on, right, they're having they're they're having you do uh, they're, ha they're showing you step bro, step sis, step mom, you know, all of this crazy. Um, uh, um, it's like halfway um, halfway ancestral scenes. Right. All, you know, all type of just weird, weird stuff. And then on top of that, bro, this is the fourth. What that, would that say? Fourth industry death in three months. I'm afraid to click any link that's showing me this type of stuff, but this is the fourth industry death in three months, right? That's that's actually insane. They're dropping faster than the rappers do. Now, people are definitely going to pass judgment and be like, oh, well, when you get the big A on your chest and you go that route, you dig what I'm saying? You go the adulterous route. It comes with consequences that you're not ready for. It's going to make you want to get high and this, and this and that. But at the same time, I feel as though there are there were people who um were claiming that they were they were drugged to do their scenes for some of their scenes um i remember the whole teens do pee thing where that part of the uh, allegations were that they were on drugs they were being drugged to do these scenes you understand what i'm saying i remember uh catching wind of it and kind of like reading into it a little bit and being like damn you know what i mean this is what this is the energy that they got they, they have for for these women this is the energy that they have where it's like you're telling me to do something that they apparently signed up for and they consented to you had to drug them you had to put them in a state of mind where they're incoherent in order for them to perform now that comes down to the state of like okay do these people really no one really wants to do this and like kind of throw their dignity away there's a small percentage of people who are like super down but me personally i know a few girls that went ahead did it because they needed the money they weren't proud of it and the whole city found out and they cut ties and was like you know what this wasn't for me so yeah the legacy is kind of tainted but they never jumped all the way down the rabbit hole but some of these women that are young and they jumped all the way down the rabbit hole or even had been doing this for years veterans in the game because a lot of these women start right at 18 like if, if you're gonna go and jump on the hub usually the girls they'll 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 jump in right at 18 and start getting jiggy you know what i'm saying they won't waste any time so assuming she jumped in at 18 and she 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 was doing this for eight years as a as a woman, it don't matter if it's strictly business or what. But if you're getting punched in, right, you're getting backshotted and all this people are pulling pieces of you, creams, juices out. All right. 
They're literally they're depositing BBC. They're pulling out creams, juices. They're having you do all types of scenes that you may or may not even be down for, like girl on girl. They might pay more for girl on girl, right? Or for interracial or whatever it is, but it may go, uh, it may be beside your beliefs. So you may have to get intoxicated. Like no one's saying whether or not these girls were inebriated during the scenes in order to do the scenes or just recreationally. None of that has been uh, disclosed from what I've seen. But one thing I can say is that eventually they're going to have to start doing more investigation into the scene. And when they do say that they that when sex workers say that they would like more regulation for safety reasons, stuff like this is uh, part of the reason why. Now, imagine how many unknown because these are women that are known. Imagine how many unknown ladies of the night that decided to jump into the industry and jump into the game passed away from any of this type of stuff and because they had no family no friends right they may have jumped in and they just might have been on their last leg and jumped in the game nobody's looking for them so their 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 passing may not have even been reported they may have passed in a whole nother country it could be a, a plethora of things that go on when it comes to this and my thing is this right i, I rock with women bro look I, I got a lady that i'm leading on right now or that you know i got a, i got a woman to lead myself and, uh, you know, it, it puts certain things in perspective because the same way if you got a daughter, right. Or, 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 you know, whatever you got, a, you got a kid or you got a woman to lead a mom, a sister, you got a woman in your life that you care for. When you see things like this, you instantly can empathize because even though I'm not a woman, I have women that I care for. So if this were a woman that was in my a woman of my life that was in her shoes doing this, you know what I mean? I would definitely not want to see that. I would definitely work my hardest to make sure that, you know, we could we could get her some help if she doesn't want to be there. You dig what I'm saying? So, look, I think that it's time that when the shame that comes along with this, uh, this, 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 this field, people got to kind of let it go. I think that, um, yeah, I mean, yes, I think that it should be something that we don't we don't push. Hey, you know what I mean? Jump in the sex game because blah, blah, blah. Definitely the 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 hazard should be made apparent. You know what I mean? Nobody should ever hide the truth of the industry from these girls. But let these unfortunately, these women had to be had to make an example for everybody as to, um, you know, the dangers of the game. And if you jump in to try to get a quick buck, it's not always that. It's not just that simple most of the time because people are dropping like flies. Four deaths in three months. We just started. 2024 just started. We already got four deaths in the industry from overdoses. And I don't even know what they died from. If it was fentanyl, if it was, they, you know, we don't know. If they were playing with their nose, they were shooting anything in their veins. Realistically, we have no idea. And I don't think that anybody cares enough to disclose these things. Now, it will be a shame if this were foul play. It will be a shame if this were foul play, because I understand something all the way back to the days of Jack the Ripper, when he would take the lives of women of the night. You dig what I'm saying? Because they were not going to be looked into as seriously, because when you got that A on your chest, right? When you're when you're an adulteress, when you're an adulteress, people don't take your well-being as seriously because they look at you as someone who doesn't care about their own well-being being because of what you subject yourself to right giving up your dignity for a couple dollars or even just for some fun you know what i mean no matter how you slice it is going to be looked down upon and people are not going to take your well-being seriously it's just the unfortunate facts of the situation so now here we are fourth the fourth woman is dead and she's 26 guys probably jumped in at 18 but i'm just i'm just saying just because usually that's when they jump in Jumped in at 18 to 21. So she got eight, five to eight years in the game. Pretty much a veteran. You know what I mean? And this is this is unfortunate she had to go out like this. This is her legacy. Her legacy is adult film star. So people are automatically going to look at her a certain way. It's just the fact of the matter. So with that being said, I guess we'll just have to see if any more uh, information turns up or, or any more bodies turn up, unfortunately. And I wonder what they're going to do, if there's going to be any legis legislation around the, around the subject matter, I, if there's going to be any sort of effort to do any right by this, or if they're just going to be like, hey, it, it's part of the game. It is what it is. So with that being said, hit all the YouTube buttons, leave a like and subscribe. I, I want to start really building my Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter at sleep underscore underscore boogie and follow my um, 
I have an Instagram, not my personal Instagram, but an Instagram just for like, if you want to catch some of my um, Twitch moments, my clips and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Or matter of fact, follow me on Twitch <laughs> at Sleep Boogie. And uh, with, with that being said, I'll catch you on the next video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think it could have been foul play? Do you think these girls is just playing with their nose because they can't take it? You know what I mean? They're just so ashamed of themselves. The only way they can stomach what they do every day is to get high. Is that is that what is that, you know? Let me know what you think. I'll catch you next video, man. I'm gone.